Hi, and welcome to the grand opening of my new show, The Maximilian Show. Today we're going to get an explicit view into Susan Hinton's novel and the upcoming movie, The Outsiders. We are with us the lovely Diane Lane, who plays the spicy cherry, and we also have the one and only Christopher Thomas Howell, who plays Pony Boy. And let us not forget the extremely talented Rob Lowe, who has the role of Sardopal. Let's give him a round of applause. Before we begin with the deeper details, why don't you give us a good overview of the plot? Ah, yeah, sure. The uh, story uh, is about the feud between the greasers and socials, and the location of the story is set in the state of Oklahoma, which is in America. Uh, but the location doesn't really matter, because the story can relate to every society in the world. Uh, that is at least my opinion, um, because the feud between the greasers and socials uh, can also relate to racism, equality and bullying. And uh, this was the message the author wanted to send out through the book, uh, because he wanted to pr prove or uh, tell people that these problems could be fixed and that people aren't that different. Uh, okay, that was a little bit off the track. Sorry. But back to the story. And the story is, as I said, about a feud between two parts. The main character, Ponyboy, has been more than most do throughout a lifetime, in just a few weeks. Something terrible happens to him and his best friend, and they get the feeling of being unwanted and run away. Later on, they find a place far, far away. While they stay there, they start thinking about the moral in life. Uh, when everything is about to go to the end, everything turns. You will experience a plot twist here that will show you the character's true self. In the darkest time, they gather and stand together and fight. The outside story has a lot of important themes in it, such as relationships and injustice. But what themes do you think affects the story the most? Um, well, I think Ponyboy's role as a narrator is crucial to how the story unfolds, and uh, it gives the story more credibility than if Tubit, for an example, would have been a narrator. Ponyboy is one of the smartest and most honest persons in the gang. He does not hesitate to show it as his own and others' flaws. And um, I think that he tries to describe the environment he lives in, which is filled with booze, violence, poverty, crime, and a lot of other factors, with, without trying to cover anything up. So about Curtis is Ponyboy's brother. He works at the local gasoline station, and Ponyboy describes him as handsome, movie star handsome. And Daryl Osgold Derry is Ponyboy's older brother. He is taking responsibility of guardianship over the two boys. He works hard to uh, make sure that the boy, the boys don't get sent to a boys' home. If life would have turned different for him, he uh, would have been in college right now. Do you have something else to add about the two boys? Um, uh, well, naturally, the two boys were going through a really tough time or phase after their parents died. And, um, you know, I think it's hard to adjust after such an accident. Um, I don't really think they knew quite how to do that. And instead they were uh, maybe pushing away the ones closest to them when they actually needed each other the most. The outsider story has a lot of important themes in it, such as relationships and injustice. But what themes do you think affects the story the most? Uh, I think family is one of the most defining themes in the story. Ponyboy's relationship to his family changed through the story, where at the beginning he thinks Derry hates him and don't want anything to do with him. But throughout the story he learns that this is wrong. Derry loves him very much, uh, it's just that he struggles to show it because he had to grow up too fast and too early. And what about you Christopher? What do you think? 
Uh, well, I think that the contrast is the most important theme of the story uh, because you have uh, only outsiders and insiders and the story unfolds in a kind of black and white world uh, where there is no common ground. And you will also find that uh, Ponyboy and his gang uh, is the outsiders in the story. Yes, of course. Do you want to add something to these fine gentlemen's answers? Um, injustice has its similarities to contrasts, but uh, it is still an important theme. Um, it's pretty clear that the characters we meet hasn't won the lottery of life as they are born into the poorer parts of America, uh, with uh, unfortunate family bonds for the most part. Life has been and is unfair to all of them, which means that they uh, get the support they need from each other. To the outsiders, the soldiers have everything the outsiders could only dream of. Uh, however, through the story, we learn that uh, the soldiers have their own kind of problems to handle. Um, Pony Boy learns to not judge others by their looks, which we get examples from in both the book and the movie. First of all, I just must say that I find the book just wonderful. And I read it several times, and each time I find so many moments that would describe the climax. But yeah, I'm not stupid. I know that most often in books it is just one climax. So, which part of the book would you say represents? The climax. Uh, yes, well, I would say that the climax in the book is when uh, Johnny and Pony rescues little kids from the burning church. <laughs> Daryl, or also called Derry, is uh, Ponyboy's older brother. He is taking responsibility of guardianship over the two boys. He works hard to uh, make sure that the boy, the boys, don't get sent to a boys' home. If the life would have turned different for him, he uh, would have been in college right now. Do you have something else to add about the two boys? Um, uh, well, naturally, the two boys were going through a really tough time or phase after their parents died. And, um, you know, I think it's hard to adjust after such an accident. Um, I don't really think they knew quite how to do that, and instead they were and uh, maybe pushing away the ones closest to them when they actually needed each other the most. What about the gun you used in the movie? I heard some rumors about that specific gun. Would you care to unfold? Um, absolutely, but after a while we started to get bored with just pointing at, the, at each other. So me and Christopher decided to try to squeeze the trigger. And um, apparently it was loaded, and uh, we fired off a shot. Oh, this is this is definitely the best part. So the inevitable happens. We hit someone, and not just anyone. It's the director yeah. of the movie. Uh, we didn't hit any body parts, but it turns out he has a wig. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us here today. And give these guys a big round of applause. Yeah,